I just did a full body scan that tests for over 500 different conditions, including cancer. Now you sit in this little tube thing for an hour and you just watch a little Netflix show and then you'll get all the information. Now I got to see pictures of all 33 of my organs. This is crazy. Whole body MRI scans are everywhere on social media. Should you get one? I'm a radiologist. I'm the medical doctor who actually interprets them. Let's talk about a few pros and cons. Whole body MRI uses zero radiation, and this is huge compared to CT scans and x-rays. It's great for looking at soft tissues, organs, muscles, bone marrow, and sometimes finding early tumors. For people with strong family history of cancer and some genetic conditions, it can be helpful as part of the medical strategy guided by your doctor. The problem is that whole body MRI finds tons of things that don't matter tiny cysts, benign nodules, normal age-related changes. We call these incidental findings, and they're incredibly common. Most of them are harmless, but they cause anxiety and lead to extra tests to investigate them further, biopsies, procedures that you never needed. You came in fine, and now you're worried about something that was never going to be a problem. Another issue is that no single radiologist is an expert in every body part. Radiologists are medical specialty with multiple subspecialties. You have brain radiologists or neuroradiologists who specialize in the brain. You have chest radiologists, abdomen radiologists, muscle and joint radiologists, which is my subspecialty. Reading a whole body MRI scan well requires multiple radiologists subspecialties, which doesn't always happen. It's important to note that whole body MRI does not replace proven screenings like your mammogram, colonoscopy, long cancer screening CTs that have decades of strong evidence behind them. Plus, it is expensive and it's often not covered by insurance and it's not standardized. So the takeaway here is that whole body MRI is not bad. In fact, it can be good for some people, but it's not magic. It can be useful for the right person guided by the right medical team, but for most healthy people, it creates more worry than relief. Talk to your doctor about it first. They can consult with a radiologist just to make sure that it serves you rather than scare you. Follow for more simplified medical breakdowns like this.